like. Brought to you by Holiday Cruises and Tours, Choice Auto and Truck, Anytime Fitness, Dan Good Flooring, Hospitality Wireless, Sunshine Cleaning and Restoration, and the Dana Law Group. Well, good. Finally, fantastically flippant Friday. It's uh, or something like that. Anyway, it's uh, you know what we do here on Friday. Turn on the music. Turn you on the music. The F -word. You said the F word. Flippantly. Friday. Oh, oh, Friday, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I try to steer clear of some of those if I can help it anyway. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is Friday, and you know what happens here on Friday? Yeah, that's turn right. Turn it up, turn it up! Turn it up, turn we it up! We leave the front door unlocked, and the hometown movie guys <laughs> just keep coming in. <laughs> we have Tina Craig and Andy with us in the studio this morning. Always glad to have them with us. And uh, coming up in the second half hour today, as a matter of fact, we have uh, Chris Bender. He's a uh, candidate for uh, Gila County Sheriff. We're going to be finding out more about his campaign coming up in a little bit. But meanwhile, it's time to talk to your hometown movie guys. You'll you leave doing? shots of tequila out and look what happens. <laughs> yeah. Just attract the riffraff. <laughs> normally we try to drink I'll be those the before riff, you, you get here. Yeah, <laughs> well, I noticed uh, in uh, today's uh, uh, issue of the uh, illustrious Pace and Roundup that, uh, Andy, you had a uh, uh, a review or a, an article that said something to the effect of some some silly movies for you to watch while you're sequestered at home. Well, yeah, if we're going to be sequestered, we might uh, watch things that'll uh, kind of uh, make us happy. Right. And like Big Trouble in Little China. Boy, oh boy, there's nothing that's going to make you happier than that one. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right. And what were some of the other ones that you mentioned in your article? Uh, Hell Comes to Frogtown. <laughs> wow, the epic saga continues. Yeah, uh, you know, it's the, a, a really a terrible movie, a great title. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, I want to rush right out and see it. <laughs> but uh, but it, it managed to, uh, to spawn uh, two sequels. Even though it was a lousy movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah well, I mean, we're not done being lousy yet. Yeah, it was kind of, uh, except in the, in the title and the, the concept, the concept of, uh, for Hell Comes to Frog Town is pretty cool. Mm. Uh, uh, it's uh, after the nuclear war. Uh, most of humanity has been um, uh, damaged so that the, they're no longer uh, able to uh, reproduce. But Sam Hell sounds like serious damage. Is uh, is one of the few fertile males left, and he's uh, tasked with going to. Um, a mutant colony. Uh, <laughs> You've <laughs> watched some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, and they've, they've, you're, you're giving spoilers. Here. They've, I they've, don't know. Yeah. They've, uh, but you watched it so other people don't have to. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, Mr. Hell goes to uh, a mutant colony to rescue uh, a bevy of uh, uh, beautiful young girls who uh, also are uh, capable of uh, bearing children. So and it's they a, it's all a, reproduce happily ever after. Well, and they don't actually show that part. But, uh, Good. Um, <laughs> well, so, you know, when we talk about silly movies, one of the things that comes to my mind, of course, always is uh, uh, Monty Python. But I saw something really... Uh, oh, those aren't silly. Oh, well, I, I guess... Minister of Silly Walks. That's, you know, that's exactly where I was going on, uh, on Facebook uh, this last it. week. Yeah. Somebody had put the uh, uh, signs out in on the sidewalk in front of their house saying, this is uh, according to the Ministry of Silly Walks. This area is for silly walking only. Uh, you know, please now commence silly walking. And they, and they have <laughs> a, they have a, like a, you know, a ring doorbell cam or something like that on the front of their house. And uh, people were, were buying in. And they were, they were, I thought, what, you know, if I look back so in town great. where people actually walk by my house again, I think I'd have to try that. I think it'd be a kick. It was fabulous. I, I, I saw that. It was really well, I think, you know, we got a couple of coyotes that, you know, stumble by once in a while where I'm at. That's about yeah, it. They're sort of marginally silly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so, uh, uh, favorite silly movies? Is that where we're headed this morning? Well, you know where I'm going with this. Where the, the third well, one, the third one I mentioned was <coughs> uh, Bill and Ted's um, Excellent oh, Adventure. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is good. Uh, one of the, one of the, actually, one of the great movies of all time. <laughs> and you're a movie critic. <laughs> I, I think he, he should have he his license revoked. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I had to, go, I had to go over to his house and, 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 and schlep logs around. So. That's, that's right up there with like a weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a, yeah. an epic saga. Good. So, so, Tina, where were you headed with well, uh, Silly Movies? You know, it's always going to be Bowfinger and it's always going to be Get Shorty. 
Wow. Yeah, love those. And Ed's always going to be Duck Soup with Groucho and company, the Marx Brothers. It sounds like you need to see some more movies, too. You, yeah, you, you keep going back to Bowfinger every time we talk about anything right. even mildly humorous. Well, I just want people to see it because it's so silly. Right. And now, uh, Craig from Sawmill Theory, i got to ask you, when it comes to silly movies, I mean, a silly movie that you would recommend someone watch just because of the quality of silliness would be... Silliness. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are silly. Yeah, that uh, was, that was, Ace Ventura, those, those, yeah. Ace Ventura. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, yeah, silly, I guess, is one word that could be used there. Sure. What Thank about you. Animal House? Uh, I, that, that, uh, that, there was a lot of silliness in there, but you, could you make that movie again today? No. I, I don't no, think you'd get away with no. it, but I... And then anything by Mel, Mel Brooks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah, of Blazing sure. Saddles. Yeah. Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Yeah. Blazing Saddles and a young Frankenstein. I have, ever since that movie came out, I've been very picky about who I allow around the campfire with me. Okay. Anyway. Um, well, at least it's open air and you don't have to do social distancing. Yeah, you don't know some of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minutes past the hour, right now, 72 degrees. And I don't know, you know, uh, there's, when it comes to, you know, trying to find something to watch at home with all of this nonsense that's going on right now uh, with the COVID 19 and politics and, you know, he's a bad person, no, you're a bad person, and all this other um, stuff on uh, uh, mainstream media these days. To me, finding a movie that's funny or something silly, just something where I can get a, you know, give me a, a belly laugh or two, let me forget about all this other nonsense and let's just, you know, have a laugh. I, I think that's like uh, a, a good mental health move. Yeah, well, you know, the Coen brothers are always good for silliness in many mm -hmm. ways. and. Um, they're uh, Waking Arizona is a oh. wonderful silly movie, and also they made a great movie with George Clooney and Catherine Zeta-Jones called Irreconcilable Differences. Oh yeah, it is so funny. And Not silly though. Well, yeah, there's parts of it that are super silly, and then very serious. Oh, women look at irre irreconcilable differences differently than men do. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, also, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Ah, uh, that's a great one. Which is greatly silly. And a great soundtrack. Yes, well. yes. And uh, Brother, Where uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? A local uh, tie-in. Uh, uh, Stan, the chain man, yeah. the partner, uh, arranged the trains for that movie. Yeah, they did. Wow. Yep. That was how great I learned to start. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Oh, Doctor Strange Love. That is so silly. Wow. That's a Stanley that, Kubrick dark silly. That goes back a ways. Yeah, it's black and white. Really? But it's Peter Sellers playing three parts. Peter and Sellers was pickings. truly, I mean, it's been a long time since I've you know, yeah. even watched a Peter Sellers movie, but I remember in my younger years, you know, just after the dinosaurs died off, I thought Peter Sellers was pretty gut busting. Oh, he was hysterical. And remember, yeah. he started out on radio on a show called The Goon Show, really? which was British, which was that. during the 50s. And because I was living in Singapore, we had British canned radio shows that were brought in. And I used to listen with the covers over my head with my little transistor radio. I would listen to The Goon Show with Peter Sellers and Spike Mulligan. Man, that was, they were insane. Oh, Pink, Pink Panther. Oh, Pink yeah. Panther, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they did a number of those, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. still making them, as a yeah. matter of fact. And you know, there's, it, there, <coughs> he, I love Steve Martin, yes, Bowfinger, but um, Peter Sellers was the Pink Panther, and yeah. there is no other. Steve Martin, I mean, he, he, it, was, it was a different sort of quality of humor, a uh, different angle at it, but I mean, there was always, you know, I was born a poor black child. Um, you <laughs> yeah, know, there was sure. jerk things. Yeah, the jerk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The there, jerk. there was some good things yeah. there. Um, and, and another one of those movies that I don't think you could make today without people, you know, calling you all kinds of names. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm glad those were made when they were. Oh, and I'm glad we are the age that we saw them and laughed at them, and we still do, so there. Yeah, and you can still find them probably on Netflix. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So we need to find out, too, um, you know, as far as uh, the Sawmill Theaters, uh, you know, we've talked here many, many times about all the great things that the Sawmill Theaters have, have done uh, as far as community outreach, different fundraisers and th things like that, and uh, not to mention bringing fantastic uh, high-quality movies right here to Rim Country. But one of the things we've got to talk about right now is, you know, it's been a tough time for you guys uh, because everybody's closed down and uh, you know, everyone's on cootie alert and all of that kind of good stuff. So, uh, you know, that's impacted uh, the Sawmill Theaters. Um, but, uh, and even though you're not uh, going to be able to open up, I guess, what, the, until the 15th, is that right? As of right now, we're, we're kind of waiting for, right. for guidance on that. But. Right. Um, but uh, you do have something going on today. Today, yeah. Come down uh, from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock and uh, we're going to sell some popcorn. 
And you're, you've got some big bags of popcorn you're going to be selling. I'm hoping I got some big bags. Um, I'm waiting for... You got the uh, hand truck? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to have my bags yesterday, they didn't get here, so I'm, I'm hoping today, but if I have to, I will just sell the regular uh, large bags, but I was hoping for some uh, ice bags. Oh yeah, we could do take ones. <laughs> if I have to just do the regular bags, we'll see the $5 bags of popcorn, uh, the 32 ounces. 32 ounce uh, popcorn and, and with butter? And oh yeah, oh, yeah, the whole thing, yeah, just yeah. pull up out front and we'll run it out to you. Yeah, tongue's getting goosebumps. Go and, support the sawmill yeah. so that when we open, we open big. There's nothing like theater popcorn, so how much, oh. how much does one of these bags of popcorn run? Well, if we have to do the, the smaller ones, we'll go, you know, $5 for the 32 ounces. If I get these, it's an eight-pound ice bag, we'll sell those for 10 bucks. Ah, there you go. Okay. So, yeah, so hoping to get those going. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll be here today, hopefully. Well, we have some good news. Uh, Michelle from the back office just gave me a list of her favorite silly movies. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, we have a caller on the line. 15 minutes past the hour, 73 degrees. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Ah, that hurt. Ah, oh, that's silly. <coughs> First one of the day. Yeah, well, and, and it might not be the last. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, if you have something you'd like to chime in on this morning, feel free. Four seven four two four two seven. Michelle says, and here's some good choices for silly movies: Caddyshack. Yes. yes. And uh, uh, I mean, there, there's, uh, I mean, almost nonsensical uh, yes. silly yes. Uh, stuff. Spaceballs. Yes. yes. Mel Gibson. Um, Happy Gilmore. I mean, uh, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Yeah, one of those Mel's. Yeah. yeah. Um, Happy Gilmore. Yes. Uh, how about the Water Boy? That was a good. Oh, <gasps> yes, you know, Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah. I heard, and he, he, but he plays. Uh, he, he just he plays that part up well, as far as kind of uh, what a little innocently dim-witted sort of. He plays uh, Adam Sandler. Yeah, come to think of it. Um, and I like some of the, the, the songs that he sings, uh, you know, like Happy Hanukkah and stuff like that. He does some interesting things. Uh, that's, that is a great movie, actually. It's a, uh, I really can't stand Adam Sandler for <laughs> obvious reasons, but uh, uh, that, is a, that is a terrific movie. Now, there's two others that she mentioned. One is Strange Brew, and that, yes. goes, that goes back a ways. That's Kinsey cool. Brothers, yeah. yeah. I, I'd forgotten all about that. Hey. Yeah. I, I, I just remember the song. Um, and uh, how about Stripes? Oh, oh excellent. Yeah, Stripes, yeah, another Bill excellent Murray, movie. Yeah. 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 Let's find out before we lose a caller. Let's find out what our caller has. Good idea. Hey, there you go. Hi, you're on Room Country Forum. Thanks for calling. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you're absolutely right. I was thinking about mentioning that uh, when the mayor uh, was talking about that earlier, in that uh, when it comes to affordable housing, not only affordable housing that people can buy, but affordable housing that people can rent would be nice. And uh, and, and apparently, uh, Craig's phone agrees. Um, we, anyway, we, we'll see what we can do. I want to revisit that uh, topic when, and maybe dedicate a, a half hour to an hour to just that. And, um, and I've been working with a lot of different realtors locally doing virtual tours of houses and stuff like that because people aren't going out and actually physically touring as many homes and some of those people might uh, like to chime in on this topic as well so we'll come back around to that well which brings up uh, movies like the apartment or oh, uh, yes. pacific heights yes. not exactly a silly movie but, but having terrifying. To do with housing having to do with housing, housing. that's right yes. there you go hey yes. we gotta take a quick break we okay. do we do have another caller on the line we're going to find out what's on their mind right after this in this moment the producers now watch, someone's going to call in. Well, I got a place for rent for oh, Stay on. You need a screen. Yeah, well, <laughs> that, would, that would be refreshing. Or a screamer. Mean, oh, you mean, to, you mean to do this like you're supposed to do. Or a screamer. Yeah. Right. Uh, don't get me started with one-liners. Okay, but the producers. We've only got 11 more minutes. Springtime for Hitler in Germany. The producers. You've never seen the producers. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. we got to stop everything and talk about that. Okay. Because and it's I, so that's, on, that's on Netflix or one of those oh, places. Oh, this is with Zero Mustel and Gene Wilder.
Oh, yeah. This is Mel Brooks. I think his, his, his tour de force of Trey Parker and Matt Stone. He and the go roll police. He's a puppet. It's puppets. They look like Barbie dolls. You can see the strings. They're just doing this. Did the whole movie that way. And then there's puppet sex. Puppet sex. Puppet sex. Yeah. Really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty hot puppet sex. <laughs> You know, and, uh, wait, how much do you have to drink before you, you think, you know, we can make a movie and have puppets having sex. Oh, like, yeah, right. Okay. And we could then call Craig and he, not would, only, he would remember it. Not only that, there was the uncut version, too. Oh, no. I don't even want to know about that. Uh, welcome back to Rim Country Forum. Thank gosh we're back because um, we didn't want to know where we were headed with our conversations during that break. But if you ever do want to know, the best way to, to find out is to log on to Facebook and look for the Don Klein channel because he's here videotaping this every Friday and, and not only do you get a chance to um, you know see the folks here in the studio but you also get a chance to see and hear some of the strange stuff we talk about during the commercial break so something for you to look forward to look for the Don Klein channel on YouTube all right now all that said at 21 minutes past the hour time to get back on the phone hi you're on Rim Country Forum good morning Hey Terry, how you doing? Hey, Terry. Hi Terry. Pretty good. I've missed y'all a few uh, past Fridays here. Well, what have you been doing? Where's your priorities, man? Uh, well, that sounds okay. like a good priority. So, what, what do you got going on today? Excellent choice. Wow, to yes. be or not to yes, be. Yes, with Anne uh, Bancroft. Really? Yes. And and it's just wonderful. And Anne Bancroft was married to Mel Brooks forever. Really? I mean, the, the, what an odd couple, but they were married forever. Because yeah, I don't really, when I think of Anne Bancroft, I don't really think of anything oh. humorous at all. Well, I mean, oh, she was a funny, funny girl. Really? Yeah, yeah. Then what happened? Well, she passed away. Oh, well, that'll, that'll change yeah. the humor in a hurry. Hey, you know, good point. How about anything else that, uh, you know, that you're thinking of as far as silly movies, Terry? Oh, really? Mm. 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 We should put it on Mystery Science 3000. Oh, that way you can get the little yeah, talking yeah, heads in the right. foreground. All right, well, thanks, Terry. I appreciate it very much. And good luck with that retail operation, too. Now, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the classic uh, silly movies I think we have to consider is A Funny Thing Happened on, on the, the Way to, to the, the forum. forum with Zero Mostel. That goes back a ways, Phil too. Silver. Yes, Phil Silver. Oh, he was so good. Yes, yes. But we were going to mention, and we did talk about this over the break, the producers with Zero Mostel Again. and Gene Wilder, and where they have the, the, and remember, Mel Brooks wrote all the music for the musicals that he made. I didn't realize that. Yes, and they have a wonderful song, Springtime for Hitler in Germany. Oh, I miss that one somehow. But you have to see the movie to understand why they were uh, producing this very, very bad. Sounds like he had his later hosen on a little too tight. Well, they were, they it, were crooks. They were crooks. They uh, were trying to rip off old ladies who would invest in these Broadway shows, and then the show would close, and they would get to keep all the money. However, oh, you got to see the movie if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I'm not going to do spoilers like Andy does. <laughs> You know, it, uh, how about, uh, well, well, we just have a few minutes left here, but while we're on this uh, subject of just silliness, um, we've talked about some of the sillier movies, and if another one comes to mind, just chime in, but what about, go ahead. Earth Girls are, are easy. easy. Yeah, so what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's I've never heard of It's a movie. I've never heard of that. Uh, how, how far yeah. back does that go? <laughs> well, you seriously don't get out much, but no, then we knew that, right? Yeah. No, but the things it's I do pretty, while I'm in are pretty It's cool. pretty silly how, yeah. you, how you operate. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's yeah. just the name of my game. Yep. What about yeah, just, just from the title, you know that's got to be a silly movie. <laughs> yeah. It, it, is there zombies involved in that one? No, no, but aliens. Oh, well, okay. Well, same deal. Uh, yeah. All right, hey, another caller on line 24 past the hour. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. 
Oh, Jack good Lemon one. and Walter Matthau. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I that love Walter Matthau. He, my, my father used to say he had a face like an unmade bed. Yeah, it was well, that, so perfect. That'd be a nice way to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He did have kind of like a bulldog sort of oh, face. Oh, he was sense. amazing. Yeah, thank you for that. Hey, Grumpy that's Old Man, that's a great choice. And, and that's actually a movie I've seen. Yes, and then Anne Margaret was in that. Model my life yeah. after that, actually. Yeah. Um, what about, uh, while we still have a few minutes here, what about uh, silly television shows? Uh, Faulty Towers with John Cleves. Ah, okay. So yes. This is a little, almost a tie back to Monty Python. Yeah. And of course, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Oh, circus. Back in the day, back in yeah. the 70s. That with was, the uh, Minister of Silly Walks. That, yeah, that's right. Yes. Uh, Morgan Mindy. Oh, Morgan Mindy, that oh, was so, yeah. 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 Anu, Anu. Uh, I Love Lucy. Uh, and the Carol Burnett show. Yeah, you know, and the, the Tim Conway. Both, oh of, my God, Tom. both of those, um, I, I think, are uh, something I'd like to just pause on again because they don't write like that anymore. I mean, they didn't use uh, sex, drugs, or, you know, uh, foul language, bathroom humor, or anything like that. Okay. It was just good quality writing, and it's still, every time I, I, I watch those on TV when I'm oh. flipping through the channels and I come across one, I'll still watch it, and it, you still get gut-bustingly funny laughter out of and that. And Tim Conway used to be able to do everything with a straight face, and none of his fellow actors could keep a straight face. It was, yeah. and he was just the best. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lucy Arnaz was just amazing yeah, at the, 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 the stuff that she could do. Um, I, I still, you know, I still think of, of some of her, her one-liners. Um, when Desi asked her, said, Lucy, did you take a shower? And she says, is one missing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, back to the phones again. Hi, here on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Hey, Jerry again. Yeah, it's okay. Go for it. Movie. <laughs> Strike. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Another Bill Murray movie. Yeah. We relate to Sergeant Hulk. So good in that. Yeah, that would be a choice one. That's another one I haven't seen in a long time. What was that back in? Was that eighties? Mm -hmm. Something like this, yeah. Well, yeah. good choice, Terry. Yeah. Thanks again for that. And let's not forget the wonderful actresses, Madeline Kahn. Oh, and again, yeah. if you go back to the producers, she plays Lily von Stupp, yep. who is Marlena D uh, the Marlena Dietrich uh, Sark. And she sings, I'm tired. Tired of being admired, <laughs> and so on and so forth. And Mel Gibson wrote this for her, and it is out. It's a hoot. You know, uh, Michelle just came back in from the back office. And again. she's good. And she is. And she, she came up with two more that um, we would be remiss if we didn't mention whilst talking about silly movies. Uh, the first is Airplane. <gasps> yes. That was with a great one. Leslie movie. Nielsen. Right. Don't and, call me Shirley. And please don't call me Shirley. Yeah. Um, and also Anchorman. Yes, That's indeed. another good one. Yes. I like that too. Excellent choice. And yes. uh, at any rate, we have uh, all kinds of uh, interesting, silly, you know, movies. Uh, any other silly TV? Ma ever? Madeline well, Kahn reminded me of uh, Sherlock Holmes' younger, smarter brother. Yes. That was an excellent one. Yes. Yeah, Madeline Kahn was, was in the tradition of Lucy and um, all of the great other great comedians. <laughs> I mean, really just... Yeah, she passed away at a pretty early she age, did. too. Yeah. Did, did you ever see uh, Desi and Lucy in the long, long trailer? Uh, I don't believe I have. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes. Lucy? Uh, long, long trailer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, Lucy and Like Desi. an Airstream or what? No, no, a, a long trailer. <laughs> uh, uh, Lucy, Lucy, and, Lucy and Desi, this is back before there were freeways, Lucy and Desi uh, take a, uh, a, a long trailer like a house trailer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, over the Rocky Mountains on the two-lane highways. And I, I mean, it's just hysterical. I remember one part in there, they've got a, a, a bowling ball at one end of the trailer, and it just, you know, they're going off the Rocky Mountains. Oh, so it's <laughs> just beating the heck out of the inside <laughs> of the trailer. It's just, it's just wonderful, wonderful slapstick stuff. One, uh, enough time for one more quick call here. Hi, you're on Room Country Forum. Good morning. Hi. Outdoors, and checking along with the, the great outdoors with John Candy. Oh, good choices. Oh, good choices. Life yeah. is like a box of chocolates. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, I, I think Forrest Gump, um, you know, there's a lot of silliness in there, and it's, uh, it, it's interesting how they were able to, uh, with special effects, uh, uh, you know, position him talking to 
uh, you know, uh, President Kennedy or uh, the Vice President, uh, right. uh, what's his face, um, <laughs> Johnson. Um, <laughs> Michael, quickly, we forget. Um, but I mean, they put him in all kinds of different places, and that they did a really a pretty believable job of that. But the storyline yeah. itself was. Uh, you know, I mean, outrageously, you know, uh, well, out there, the, but it was the fun. Well, it's the idiot savant. Right. You know, the, the, really. And if you look at uh, also Peter Sellers' last movie, Being There, mm. it was silly, but not. Yeah, yeah. there's an underlying message that Ooh, you, you, you walk away yeah, with. How that. silly the populace is. And let's, let's not forget John Candy's greatest movie, Uncle Buck. Yes. Uncle, Buck. Uncle Buck. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I second that. Yeah. All right. Well, and, and uh, just when you think you might but sorry. that, yeah, but sorry. <laughs> we're out of time with our hometown movie guys. Thanks again for being here, and we look forward to having you in again next week. Uh, again, don't forget that today from 4 until 8, was it? Yeah, about 8 o'clock. Yeah, 4 until 8, you can swing by the uh, Sawmill Theaters and get yourself some great theater popcorn, all buttery and yummy and num, 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 and, uh, you know, help support the local theater while they get ready to get back up and running again. And make a vow that you will support the Sawmill as soon as it opens. There you yes. Go. Do we still get paid for an hour even though we're only here for a half? <laughs> Hold it. You get paid for doing this? <laughs> no, we have to pay. I know. <laughs> anyway, we got to take a break. We're going to be back and, and talk about shifting gears. We're going to go from all of this silliness to actually uh, attempting to be serious for uh, the next 30 minutes.